in electric current we will study a new concept today that is ohm's law how does an electric current start for electric current we have to produce or we have to generate an electric field in the conductor how do we make an electric field in a conductor the answer we apply a potential difference across the conductor with help of some outside agency here the outside agent which is capable of applying a potential difference we will call it an electrical cell okay so electrical cell this is a conductor and this conductor is connected here here this conductor is connected here this is plus this gives minus charges and this potential difference v whatever is the potential difference given by this cell that is the potential difference created between these two ends it is important that potential difference is created here and we know potential difference create per unit length an electric field so potential difference always create electric field or in the electric field the two points have a potential difference it is both way connected so this creates potential difference v and the charges here keep on moving and when they move then what is the direction of electric current we have learnt in the previous class that if electrons are moving in this direction electrons are moving in this direction then this will be taken as direction of electric current theoretically the direction of motion of positive charges is known as direction of current you may object that positive charges actually do not move okay then we change our terms the direction of negative charges take opposite to it that is the direction of electric current fine so electrons move in this way this is direction of electric current opposite to it and because theoretically this is direction of motion of positive charges so this is direction of positive charges and positive charges always move from plus to minus positive charges are always repelled by plus attracted by minus so this is the direction of motion of positive charges now potential difference applied is v and by all calculations by seeing in the meter we find that electric current here is i now we have a certain arrangement that we can add more than one cell or something and we can change this potential difference we can change this potential difference by using certain devices and this is the mark that we are going to change the potential difference when we increase the potential difference make it double two times what happens to current we see that current has also increased two times okay we make the potential three times the current has increased three times so by doing this by seeing this we declare and that declaration was made by ohm for the first time he says that if you change the potential i will change and that will be a direct proportion direct proportion means what i v is proportionate to i directly proportionate to i and both have got power 1 power 1 means if you change it three times this will change three times if you change this five times this will change five times this is a direct proportional so in any uh, conductor the current is directly proportionate to potential difference applied across it but we have seen that in the current the drift velocity and the drift velocity is having effect of relaxation period relaxation period has effect of temperature that means if we change the temperature in between the current will change so he put a condition ohm put a condition that we should not change temperature similarly we should not change the pressure we should not change any physical condition then 
these will be exactly proportionate to each other. This is Ohm's law. So I will write Ohm's law for you. A conductor, if all physical conditions like temperature, pressure are kept constant, then current is directly proportionate to potential difference applied across it. It means conductor. So this is a sense of it. Current is directly proportionate to potential difference. This we can write it V proportionate to I or I proportionate to U. The customary V proportionate to I. We are using it. So if V is proportionate to I, then by putting a constant, we can write it that V is equal to a constant multiplied by I. This. This is Ohm's law. Now, this constant, we have to specify this constant. This constant he termed as resistance. The resistance is V upon I by calculation. This is a calculation of resistance. This is not definition of resistance. So what is this resistance? Resistance is characteristic of this medium. What happens in that characteristic? Answer, in that characteristic, the current is restricted. Like we go in any street on a mobile, our speed, the drift velocity depends upon how much is resistance on our path. What is that resistance? The people are coming from this side, this side, this side and we go on colliding with them. If there are more people, more chances of collision, we go slow. The current is slow. So, this resistance may, that is resistance is what? Opposition. Opposition to the drift velocity. Opposition to the motion. And who creates this opposition? Answer, collisions. When we know the current is formed by what? Moving electrical charges, electrons. And when they do not move, whenever there is a collision. So, more the collision, less will be the velocity. So, if there will be more collisions, we will say opposition is large, resistance is large. So, who make up the resistance? Answer, collisions make up the resistance. And due to this collisions, due to this resistance, that conductor become hot. That we will study later. But now, what is resistance? Opposition to the definition of resistance. Description of resistance. Opposition to electric current. Electric current caused by caused by collisions. This is resistance. How much is the resistance? Resistance is measured by V upon I. What is unit of the resistance? Resistance unit is Ohm. Unit of resistance because it was defined by ohm this resistance of unit is ohm ohm we write it o and this is o this is the symbol of this so unit of this is ohm this is calculation and v upon i whatever comes is the resistance in ohms okay so which conductor has 1 ohm resistance? Define 1 ohm resistance. I will define it this way. If there is a conductor across which I apply 1 volt, then current flowing in this is 1 ampere, neither less nor more. Then I will say the resistance of this conductor is 1 ohm. Why? Voltage is 1 ohm. Sorry, voltage is 1 volt current flowing is 1 ampere. So, resistance becomes 1 ohm. That is definition of 1 ohm resistance. Okay. So, I will write it for you. 1 ohm is resistance of that conductor in which current flowing is 1 ampere when potential difference applied across it is 1 volt. 
so this is our definition of 1 ohm resistance how much is that so this is ohm's law this is 1 ohm resistance and in the next lecture we will see what forms the resistance inside how can we connect it with uh, electric charge drift velocity and other quantities in that and a new term resistivity that we will learn in the next lecture. Thank you.